long time no see. I'm here in Capos today. I've got the beautiful ocean view behind me. It looks very bright. <laughs> and it is extremely hot today. I can't get out of the sun fast enough. Today, I, well, I had some chores I needed to do. So from here, I wanted to go down to each and every one of the thrift stores here in Capos, or as we call them, Americanas. And we're gonna see what we can find, see if we can get some good stuff. It's actually really hard to find decent clothing around here, so I find buying used is generally the way to go. It still can be a little bit expensive based on the fact that you have to still get it to Capos and we're kind of far off from the main cities and all that stuff. But yeah, I need new clothing and I wanna see what's out there. Some of the places we've actually been to before and you probably will recognize them from previous videos. But basically we're going to start on the first street in Capos that's closest to the marina and then kind of do like a loop around because there's pretty much only Americana shops on the like ocean side of Capos. I don't know, closer to the ocean. On the upper side there's not too many. And then there's one in another neighborhood called Barrio Los Angeles, Los Angeles and we'll go check that out too if I don't melt before I get there. So yeah. Let's get on our way and let's go shopping, see what we can find. Feel like falling deeper, cold and nice, not no more shit on. Kids are leaky and no more kid on. Just don't let's hide on your shigong. Kids are not in the world. Alright, looking a little wet. <laughs> so I was able to get just one thing from this spot and I only paid 5,000 colones. I found some of the stuff that I liked, but it was, it was, um, what's it called? Too big. Didn't fit me. I'm trying to figure out if this is another Americana. I don't think so. I think it's just a regular store. I was going to pack a loca right here. I just spent so much time there and I found four pairs of shorts that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I hope they all fit. I think they will. And oh my god, there's another one right here. I'm like definitely running out of time and yeah, we're gonna go into this one. This is actually the one we went to not too long ago. spending all the money I have and I literally am not going to be able to carry like none of these places sell bags right so I'm kind of effed and okay when I get home I'm gonna be doing a little haul for you guys just so you can see what I got and I'll go over the prices and everything like that and here we are coming up to another one I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this today this is getting out of hand seriously um, yeah we're coming up to this one now check it out I don't think I can buy anything here. I don't think I can buy anything at all, period, no. Like I said, this is out of hand, but yeah, we're going in. Okay, I made it out of that store without buying absolutely anything. I almost bought a pair of shorts, but they were way too big for me. They were really cute. They're from American Eagle or American Outfitters or American Eagle Outfitters. Um, so I'm just walking down to the next street right now and I think there's like three more shops here. I am so... Ooh, look at that. I should buy one of those. They're so expensive. I am so exhausted and I need to eat. I am doing intermittent fasting right now and it's almost one o'clock so I'm absolutely starving. But 
yeah. We're gonna go down the street and, oh wait, is it the street that has Americanas? <gasps> I don't think it is. I'm lost. Okay, I'm gonna find out where I'm going and I'll show you guys. Oh, it's closed, that's what it is. Now I'm seeing, okay, take a look at this. So this store here used to be one and now it's not here at all. Okay, change of plans. We're going back. We're gonna go and, okay, so we're gonna go and find the final one, I guess, because I think there's only like one more left that I wanted to go to, one or two more. And um, then we're gonna find some food. Okay, we're walking to Barrio Los Angeles and this is where we're gonna come after. New Jamaican food, so. All right, I'll see you guys at the next Americana. Okay, so this is one that I've never been to. Actually, I've been to a few today that I've never been to, so we're gonna go in and check it out. So they're very friendly here. They let me start filming like from the very beginning. And this place is actually huge. I, they're even giving me recommendations on what I should get. And I could put my other stuff away so I don't have to walk around with a big old bag of clothing. And there's some kind of cool stuff here. Is it me? Maybe. <laughs> kind of like it, but I don't know if it's my style. It's kind of too boyish. Okay, looking time. Okay, so there's a second floor, and we're going up, and this is what we're dealing with. Holy shit. So everything here costs 600 colones. Holy crap. Let's see what we can get here. I got three things, and it costs less than every other place that I went to today. I spent less than 3,000 colones, which is like six bucks. And I got a really big, nice hoodie from a surf shop in Panama. Well, I'll show you guys later. But, oh my God, I am like legit dead. And I think I'm gonna go grab food now. I don't know if I'm gonna get it to go because it's not really a sit down place. But I have to admit that that Americana, I've never been there and I think it's the best one in Cape Coast. Oh my God, there's herons. I can't see them now. Um, but yeah, that second floor is incredible and everything there is 600 colonies, it's a dollar, a dollar. And there's some Scarlet Macaws here. There's like six of them right there. <laughs> and it's raining almonds, okay. I'm going to get food. I'll see you when I have food. I might die. All right. So, sorry, there's cars coming. We literally just played a bunch of card games and he showed me some card tricks and I got my food. I've never tried this place before, but it's new and it's one of the only Caribbean foods that we have here. And it has a huge influence here in Costa Rica, this type of food and stuff like that because of Limon, the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. So we're gonna go home and taste this because it's only takeout. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. And we still have one more shop to go to, so I think I'll just pop in there quickly and we'll check it out and then run the heck home and eat this. So, yes, 
I'm gonna walk there now and I'll see you there. So the place we're going to right now is Americana Frigia. I think that's how you say it. And I've actually gone to this place a lot of times. I've showed you guys a few times. Even in my, one of my, I think it was a day in a life vlog when we met Kellen. I went there and they had almost nothing, but they've started to have more stuff in stock recently. So, we are going to go and check that out and I promise you, I will not be buying anything today because I am so shopped out. Um, we're literally just gonna go to see. like five minutes in there and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm done, I'm done, and I need food. So I am walking right now to the bus stop. This is pretty. And we're going home. And we'll go over all of these wonderful things that I've purchased today. So yeah, I'll see you guys at home. We're back, we're home. Excuse the natural environment sounds of dogs barking everywhere and loud cars passing. First off, I took a shower because I felt absolutely disgusting from walking in that extreme heat all day. And we're about to try this food because I'm absolutely starving, as you guys probably know, because I cl complained about it so much when I was down in Cape Coast. Okay, so basically this is all Caribbean style food, Jamaican kind of thing. So we've got our patty here, patty. And I got beef. And actually, the order comes with only two, and he gave me, actually, he gave me four. I scarfed one down before you guys saw. I'll try one for you guys because I want you to see what I'm seeing. I'm gonna do this one. I'll break it open. It's already like kind of half broken. Like that, you see there? Yummy. Okay, so let's try. The first one I tried, the dough was a little bit thick, but this one looks much better. The flavor of the meat is spot on. So that's a... Mmm. Mm-hmm. This one is much better than the last one I had. The last one, the dough was very, very thick and almost hard to chew. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's not flaky like the ones I'm used to having in Toronto. But for what it is, and for considering we're in Capos, Costa Rica, that's pretty darn good. And I paid 2,000 colones for two, and he, yeah, like I said, he gave me four, so nice man. Here's our star of the show. This is rice and beans with pollo chicken. So yeah, I'm gonna take a bite out of it just to tell you guys how it is. This cost me 4,000 colones, so in total, the whole bill was like 10 bucks for all this food. Mmm. Here's Ollie, by the way. <laughs> He's going wild. I just gave him his dinner and I came over here. And he ran over here to eat some of this. But we're not sharing. <laughs> That's damn good. Okay. I'm putting this down. We're really quickly gonna go over everything that I bought. So I got this nice hoodie. It's a really big oversized hoodie, but I have wanted a hoodie for so long. Let me um, push you guys back a little bit and yeah, there we go. I've wanted a hoodie for so long here. It's big, it's comfy, and it's Ron John. It says right here, Ron John. This is like a Ron John, surf shop or something like that in Panama. Never heard of it, but I liked it. And it cost me a dollar. A sweater like this would cost easily at least 30 bucks, so. I'm happy with it, it's cozy, it's comfy. That one was 600 colonas. That, that, that's the one I found on the upper floor of that second to last tienda that we went to, Americana. Same with this, I got this at the same place. And I kind of like it more as like an art piece. I probably won't 
use it actually because I like how it looks. I might like put it up on a wall or something at some point. And it's like a little tea towel with all kinds of different Italian monuments. Or, I don't know if it's monuments, but things about Italy. Because I have Galileo, all kinds of things. So I just, I thought it was cute. And again, this was only a buck, so I decided, why not? I like it. Oh, I forgot that I got this one there as well. Just like an ordinary shirt. I find I don't have enough comfy clothes at home to wear, so I just got this one. And this one, I believe, was like 2,000 colonas, maybe 1,000 colonas. No, 1,000 colonas. Less. And that place, they actually told me that they're going to be having some sort of reopening of the upper floor with all kinds of different product. All new product with like the bags and everything. So it's going to be like a free for all. And I can just imagine everyone now like ripping bags and strangling each other. So leopard print is something I would never really go for. But this is art. This is like a vintage piece from Victoria's Secret and it cost me less than five bucks and it's basically just like a night robe so I could be like, hey my love, but it's so soft and it's so comfy and it comes with little strings to like make it tied up. I am so stoked off of this, like I can't believe I found this. I wish clothing would have the year it was made in on it somewhere. Pretty cool. I'm, I think this is one of the best pieces I found today and I'm really stoked about it. And this one I got actually from the third? Yeah, the, the shop after Pacaloca. Same with this one. I got this from the store after Pacaloca as well. I think it's called Faraz. And I got it because it says extra salty, just like me. I'm extra salty and I love pretzels. And I just thought it was really cute. So here's my extra salty shirt. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, and I didn't tell you guys that one of my bags broke in that same store, the Faraz. Cause none of these stores provide bags, <laughs> which is good. It's a good thing, but good Lord. I got these Lululemon shorts that are absolutely perfect. They have like an, a lining and everything for 4,600 colones. So that's about eight to $9. I mean, come on. I feel like this would be like 50 bucks in a store. I've never had Lululemon clothing that actually fits me. So I'm so excited about this. And it has like a little zipper in the background. This is something you'd never be able to find here in Capos unless you're ordering it online. So this is a good one. Oh, by the way, I got these from Pacaloca. And these I got from Pacaloca as well, Levi and Strauss. And they're high waist. And these were, I think, the most expensive thing that I got today. These were 8,000 colonas, which is ridiculous. But it's surely because of the brand. I noticed that Pacaloca tends to do that with a lot of the brands that they were selling. Even Garage, they were racking the price up, or H&M. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This clothing is gonna break in a couple days. Like H&M doesn't even sell it that high. So I didn't get any of those. But these, I really needed a good pair of denim shorts, so I'm happy. I also got this pair of shorts, which is stretchy, which is the best. Actually, they're not as stretchy as I thought they were for whatever reason. I hope they fit. <laughs> I After the first store, I just stopped trying stuff on because I was just like, this is too much. These ones are Bullhead. I don't, I've never heard of that brand before, I don't think. But they're high rise, they're and I paid nine bucks. And they look really great. So I'm excited to try them on. Finally, from the first shop we we're in, I got this dress, it's inside out. It's just like a really long maxi style dress. And I paid 5,000 colonas for this dress. That's less than 10 bucks, like nine bucks. And look at that brand, NSF. I looked that brand up because I was like, I was thinking, this seems like a kind of like a high-end brand. And on their website, they are selling clothing for like on sale 125 bucks. Or like not on sale, like 200 and something dollars. I was like, holy shit. So I bought this. 
for less than 10 bucks. So I'm thinking like, yeah, now I'm gonna be walking around like high class. <laughs> But yeah, so that's everything guys of all of the shops that I went to today my favorite one Although I didn't find a lot of stuff there. I think my favorite was the Second last one. I what was it called? I don't even remember what it was called I'll find the name and I'll put it somewhere here for you guys the one with like the second floor and 600 Kelowna stuff because I feel like I'll be able to go back there and actually try to look for something and we'll spend a lot of time and find a whole bunch of stuff that I like and it's so cheap You just have to do a little more work for it and I kind of like that idea Aside from that my most successful shopping spot was the second place that I went to or sorry the third place that I went to The Faraz. I'll see if I can put all of the names of the places down below I mean, it's not gonna help too much because you're not be able to find them on Facebook or anything. I tried searching for them all this morning before I left and it just, there's nothing. So you just kind of have to walk around and see what there is. And yeah, that was a very long day. Goodness, I'm, I'm happy that there aren't more Americanas because <laughs> had there been two or three more that used to be here and now they're not, I think I would have just had to leave it for another day because I am just absolutely pooped. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go and finish my breakfast and I will uh, see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed going on this little adventure with me. Uh, if I missed any shops, just let me know down in the comments below or if you have any questions about where I went or anything like that. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give a thumbs up for me and Subscribe to the channel. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon. I need to go and eat my Caribbean food now. Bye